In this video guys, we are going to discuss 10 amazing Excel shortcuts that you need to be very very comfortable while working on Excel. The first is, how do you navigate between the worksheets? Well, I hope you know what a worksheet is, right? And in Excel, we can have multiple worksheets. So how do you navigate between those worksheets? So the shortcut to navigate between the worksheets is control page down. So once you press control page down, it goes to the right. So you can navigate towards right hand side. And if you press control page up, it comes back, right? So you can travel to the left side. Oh, one more thing you need to be very comfortable about that sometimes in some keyboards, function key is on, right? So in, in case your keyboard has function key on, so you'll have to press control plus Fn and then you'll have to press page up, page down. That's number one. Next, if I am into this table, right? And if I have to apply a filter on this table, how would you do that? The shortcut to apply the filter is Alt D F F. So press Alt D F F and you will see the filters arising. And then just go to anywhere in which you have to see or categorize the table according to it. Press Alt and press down arrow key. So it will open up this small arrow key for you. Right? And you can go, select anything, you can sort by color, sort A, Z to A, sort in descending or sort in ascending orders, whatever. Alright, escape to go back. Then, if you want to remove the filters, press Alt D F F again and it will go back. It just works as a toggle device. Press Alt D F F again, it comes back. Press Alt D F F again, it goes back. Another shortcut is Alt AT. Press Alt AT again, it goes back. So there can be multiple shortcuts for for a particular thing on Excel, right? So do take a note of that. Whatever you find comfortable with, just use that. The key is to use shortcuts more and mouse very, very less, only when it's essential. All right, now, once you're inside the table, if you wanna select the data, how would you do that? Press Control A. So one time you press Control A, this will automatically select the table for you. Press Control A again, it goes on to select the entire worksheet. All right. So once we're inside the table, Control A, it will select it for you. Now, suppose you are in the header and you want to go to the very last uh, data in the cell, in this table, of course. So how would you do that? Control down arrow key, it goes towards the end. Control up arrow key, it comes back. Suppose you need to select the column, but only till the data set. So press shift control down arrow key. It will select the data for you. You can now press shift right arrow key and it works, right? All right, then how do you select the row? Well, select the row, shift space bar. How to add a new row? Alt I R, Alt I R, right? There can be another shortcut once you uh, achieve this. There is another shortcut to add a new row. Select the row, Shift Control and Plus key. Shift Control and Plus key will keep adding the rows for you. All right. How to add a new column? Alt I C. It will add a new column towards the left side of your cell. Right, go back, press Ctrl Z. Another shortcut to add a new column. Select the column first. Ctrl space bar to select the column. Shift Ctrl plus. Again, it adds a new column. All right. Now, let's say I want to delete the top row. How do I do that? Select the row, Shift space bar, and Ctrl minus. Press Ctrl minus. It goes away. 